Hey guys, and welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're going to be looking at some long division questions. We have four of them here that we're going to work through together. It would be a good idea to get a piece of paper and a pen and try and work these questions out as we go along. So let's begin. We're going to first start with this question here. It says 36 divided by 3. So the first thing that we're going to do is put our 36 inside what we call this bus stop and we'll put the 3 on the outside. And we call this 3, this is the divisor and the 36 we call the dividend. And what we're doing here is we are sharing our dividend between our divisor. We need some steps to help us answer this. And the first step is going to be to divide. And then we're going to do step 2 which is to multiply and find out how many we took away from our 36 each time. Then we'll subtract that group and then we'll pull down the next digit and work on the next column. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so the first question does say how many threes are there in three because I'm dividing my three by this three here, but we know it's actually a 30. And I know the answer to how many threes are there in three will be one. There is one group of three in three. If I had three marbles, that I could take one whole group of three away. Okay, and now what does step two mean, multiply the groups? Well, what I'm gonna do is I wanna work out how many of my 36 I've just worked out in that first step. So if I times one by my original three, I'll get three. One times three is three. If I subtract that from my question, I will end up with a zero in this tens column and then I can pull down my six and I will end up with a six in the ones column. Now I can go back and do step one again, divide. So how many threes are there in six? Well, there are two threes in six. Okay, but I'm not quite finished. I need to do step two, which is to find out how many groups I've just taken away. So two times three, take that away, leaves me with zero. And this is what we call the magic zero, because this is what we want to get down to at the end of this kind of question, because that shows us that we've finished this question and that we have our final answer. So 36 divided by three equals 12. Good job. Okay, let's move on to a slightly harder question. Let's have a look at this question here. 656 divided by four. So we're going to have the same steps again, and I'm going to put my dividend of 656 inside my bus stop and my divisor 4 on the outside. And I can just do the same thing again. So how many 4s are there in 6? Well, if I have 6 marbles, I can take one group away. I couldn't take another group because I haven't got a full group of 4. So I've got one. But now, when I do my multiplication to find out how many groups, we're going to get a slightly different result. So let's do it. Let's see. One times four is four. And that's going to leave me with six subtract four is two. Now I can bring down my next digit. I'm not going to bring the six with it. I'm just going to bring the five at this point. And I have 25. Now I can ask myself, how many fours are there in 25? So fours into 25, we can count up in our multiplication table if we want to try and do it that way. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. And I can't go to 28 because that would be more than 25 and that'd be too many. So the answer is six. And let's see how many we took away that time. So six times four equals 24. Take that away and I'm left with 1. Bring down my 6 and I'm ready to answer my final part. How many 4's are there in 16? 4, 8, 12, 16 we have 4. Now I can do my 4 times 4 and I work out that that's 16. That 16 subtract 16 is 0 my magic number, meaning that we've finished this question. So 656 divided by 4 equals 164. Good job. Okay, 
Let's look at a slightly different one. This one's going to be a little bit tricky. Let's have a look at 146 divided by 5. Okay, so same thing again. I'm going to put my 146 inside my bus stop and my 5 on the outside. And I'm going to follow step 1 again. So how many 5s are there in 1? Well, if I have 1 marble, I can't take any groups away, can I? So the only thing I can do is put a 0. I took 0 groups away. But now, when I do my multiplication, I can work out that 0 times 5 is 0. I took 0 groups away. 1 subtract 0 still leaves me with 1. Bring down my 4, just like before, and I, now I have 14. Now I can ask myself, how many groups of 5 are there in 14? 5, 10, 15. 15 is too far, so I have to stop at 10, so therefore there's 2 groups. 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract the 10, leaves me with 4. Bring down my 6. How many 5s are there in 46? Again, we're going to use our times table knowledge. 5 times 9 is 45, so there's 9 lots. But then, when I do my 9 times 5, I see that I have 45. And when I subtract that, I'm left with 1. And if we remember, there are no groups of 5 in 1. So I can't do another division. What I have to do with this 1 is consider it a remainder, 1 left over. So my answer is 29 remainder 1. So the answer to 146 divided by 5 is 29 remainder 1. If you want to learn how to change this remainder into a decimal, you can watch that video on this channel as well. OK, let's do our final one. Let's do a big one. We've got 3,986 divided by 6. OK, same process again. I don't think this is any harder, just a little bit longer. So here we go. First question is how many 6s are there in 3? There are 0, and therefore 0 times 6 is 0. Subtract that away from my 3, and I still end up with 3. Pull down my 9 to answer the next question. How many 6s are there in 39? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Can't get to another number, so we have 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Subtract 36 from 39, leaves me with 3. Now I can pull down my 8. And my next question says, how many 6s are there in 38? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. I can't go any higher than that again, so I have 6. Again, 6 times 6 is 36. 38 subtract 36 is 2. Bring down my 6. How many 6s do we have in 26? I have 6, 12, 18, 24, so I can take 4 whole groups away. And 4 times 6 is 24 leaving me with 2. 2 is smaller than 6, so therefore we can't take a group of 6 away, so that's going to become a remainder. Simple. OK, guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please check me out at themathsguy.com for plenty more videos like this. Bye.